coming up here. All right, recording. Sorry about that. Well, not sorry about it. You didn't see it, but I uh, started drawing. I tried to draw. My pen snapped, and uh, I ran out of ink. Or I ran out of lead, so I had to put more lead. But welcome. Uh, good morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, this is uh, Gaming the System with John Dillard, and uh, I'm the number one official Comics Gate fan artist. I love drawing fan art. It's what got me back into drawing. Um, um, I actually want to talk today about your panels. Doing your panels and not so much layout because I'm not even, I don't even know that much about layout. But the number one problem I see with people and uh, uh, the people that like to draw and they ask me things is, you know, how do I get the, the, the panel to look right? How do I, I, I do a panel and I don't know what to put on it. I don't know what angle. I don't know how to put the background in. And uh, let me start drawing here. But one thing I want to, uh, the main thing I wanted to focus on was that when you draw, I mean, the panel is up to you. The panel, and I don't mean it's up to you in the sense that uh, it's completely up to anyone's interpretation and there's no such thing as a, a bad panel because there are bad panels. And, uh, but the thing I want to focus on is that you... Uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably, you probably like to draw. You're probably an artist. And if you are, then you pretty much know what you want to put on the paper. Uh, even people that aren't artists know, oh, I have this idea in my head, but I need somebody to put it on paper for me. And uh, I'm drawing this uh, other little, little tiny comic I'm working on, this little cosmonaut girl. And uh, I'm doing this one a lot more... Mm. I'm being a lot more free with this one. I, I'm, I'm doing it a lot more cutesy. And uh, this is kind of like the... Uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Ren and Stimpy, but that was one of the really influential cartoons for me when I was growing up. And I, I really like their style, that John Chris Felucci's Pumpco style. So I'm doing a little story about a cosmonaut girl who, uh, in this particular panel, is meeting an alien. Now, panels are important because a lot of people go wrong because they think that any panel would work or it has to be the exact right panel. This isn't true. However, you do need to put on paper what you have in your head. Because if you have an idea in your head and you put it on the paper, it's not coming out right, so you erase it and try something different wrong completely wrong. That's the only thing I'll say about that because <clears throat> it just is. It's just going to be wrong. So because in your head, you've, you've, you're a consumer. Everybody is. You're a consumer of cartoons, film, comic books, manga, anime, cartoons, Justice League, the, everything. You, you, you've seen many things in your life. Many things. And because of that, you have in your head this, this uh, almost like a, uh, a miniature director's chair. You know exactly what will work. You want to try, try to tell the story that uh, is in your head, and that's not going to work if you, again, change it. If you change it, then you're, you're lost. You, you, you change the, 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 the scene, the angle... You know, the, the upshot, downshot, worm's eye view, bird's eye view, whatever. If you change that, it's no longer what's in your head. It's something completely new. And you don't know whether or not it's going to work. Because if you're drawing what's in your head, you've already established this is how I see it. It's how I see it, which means it'll probably work because you're, essentially you're, you're just putting down a little movie that you have in your head. How am I going to do this? Okay, for torso... I think the John K style is to make like a, like a little, like a, like a bean. Or a little, uh, yeah, like that. And then attach the, uh, yeah, we'll call it up here, put the knee here. Yeah, perfect. Now, again, I, I go outside of the borders. This is all going to get erased. But um, this is just how I like to lay things out. And out here. There. 
and I got the idea for this. I was drawing a little. I was actually painting um, a bunch of characters, and this is one of the characters that I was painting. Uh, the little cutesy girl thing. Okay, and she's just come across a uh, a little Martian or alien from wherever, and uh, he's not hostile. They're friends. They're going to be friends in the in the actual episode or in the comics, so it's all right. Don't worry about it. And uh, yep. Okay, I'm gonna give her longer gloves with a split in them. And the thing is, it, it, when you don't do the panel that you want to do and you start doing something else because it's easier or you're not comfortable with the angle that uh, you have in your head because you can imagine real vivid, crazy angles, you know, horror scenes where the, the camera zooms in but the background comes forward and, and you have all these things in your head and you want to put them on paper. You, you got to try. You have to try. Because if you sit around and, and you only do what you're... What you what you feel is uh, something that you're comfortable with, it's not going to look dynamic. It's not going to look fun, and people aren't going to want it. They're just not. They're just they're going to look at it and say, "Well, you know, this didn't work. Who's this guy?" So, <clears throat> and, and you know, it's fine to make mistakes, and uh, you don't beat yourself over the head about it. But uh, you really want to you really want to give it a shot. Because you'll be amazed at what you do come up with. She's holding a gun. And this is going to be like a, like an Earthworm Jim style gun. Old retro space gun. And it may work out just fine, but it, it, it may have no life to it. And that's something you definitely don't want. I mean, what's the point of making a comic book? If it has no life, if it has no, it doesn't have that certain something. There we go. Something like that. Let me, uh, I think we're going to put the background kind of like that. There we go. And then we'll do some uh, space old school craters back here couple in the foreground and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna leave this area no no I'm not gonna leave this area I'm gonna put something in this area I'll put it I'll put them in there I didn't want to put him in there because I wanted his uh, a, a reveal of his full body but mm, he can be close he can be close he, she's not scared he's adorable so we'll make his head real big I want his head to be pointy in the back and I want him to be looking at her so when I when I need somebody with line of sight with the eyes, I draw a line, and that will be the pupil of his eye. Sorry about that. that was confusing, but if you do what uh, you see in your head, he's gonna be worried. If you do what you see in your head, it's gonna come out looking really cool and it's just a matter of doing it over and over again until you can lay out the uh, the picture to where it looks enough like what you have in your head because what you have in your head is solid gold use your instincts trust your instincts every time all right thanks for watching i'm gonna eh, let me draw this a little bit uh, he's gonna have a very big head a pointy head in the back like that. Uh, he's going to have very small. And there we go. He's going to be looking straight up at her. Yeah, perfect. And, uh, you know, that's all. If I want you to take away anything, it's just trust yourself. You have good ideas. You know what looks good. Go for it. So, I'll get cracking on this. And I want you guys to have a nice day. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you like this for future content, and go ahead and check out my Twitter. It's uh, John Dillard Gaming the System on Twitter. Uh, I think my Twitter handle is John Dillard GTS. So go check it out, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by.